Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your next 48 to 72 hours reading. So, Cancer, these messages are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will be for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Cancer, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Spirit, give me some messages for Cancer. What is the energy? Messages for cancer, please. What's the energy? Okay. I have the emperor, Aries energy. You can have Aries highly aspected. The number four could be significant. Give me another message for cancer. I have oh, the tower in the reverse, Scorpio energy. Tell me more. What is the energy for Cancer, Spirit? What is the message? What is the energy for Cancer? I have the Seven of Cups. So let's see what this is about. Spirit, tell me why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? What is the energy? Upgrade. Your life is about to have an upgrade. Why is the seven of water here? Growth. You will grow from this situation. Wow. Give me another energy for transformation in the reverse. Obsession. Someone is obsessed with you. Okay. So let's tap in to dig a little bit deeper. Spirit, why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here for cancer? What is the energy? The eight of swords. So somebody could feel stuck. Somebody feels trapped at this time. This could be a masculine energy. This could be a boss figure. Um, somebody that can own their own company. Somebody that's well respected. This person gets a lot of attention. Six of wands. Give me another energy for the emperor. The seven of cups. So somebody is delusional here. This could be this masculine energy or this could be someone who is delusional concerning this masculine. But somebody's all over the place. Give me another energy for the Eight of Swords. The Nine of Cups. Somebody has been doing a lot um, excessively. Like this is somebody who could have been um, dabbling in energy work here. Somebody could have been trying to bind this person to them so they could hold on to whoever this emperor energy is or hold on to you, Cancer. Take it as it resonates. Yeah, this is definitely someone from your past or this person's past that they have walked away from. Somebody decided to go towards the new, a new start. Give me another energy for the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Cancer? What is the energy? Why is the Seven of Cups here? What is the message? The Tower. Wow. So something is happening unexpectedly. Something's going to be shocking. Um, I feel like when this Tower occurs, this person is not going to know what to do. Scorpio energy on the Tower. Somebody's trying to um, block someone from... Ending out a situation with them. Closing out a cycle. Give me an energy on upgrade. Why is upgrade here? What is the message? The hang one. This is giving me the energy Pisces on the hang one. Of somebody being um, so consumed with having a life with another person. It's like this energy really cannot get over you or cannot get over who this emperor energy is. Like someone has already planned out the rest of their life with this person in it. Give me an energy on upgrade. Why's upgrade here?
the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like this person wants something long term. Somebody's looking um, at this masculine as a come up. And they're determined to have him or they're determined to have you. Like someone is literally stuck on one person. They do not want to let this person go. Give me one more on the Seven of Cups. Somebody's thoughts could be coming and going with this tower energy. Somebody could definitely be all over the place. Somebody's having like several obsessive thoughts. Why is the Seven of Cups here? What's the energy? Why is the Seven of Cups here for Cancer? You have justice. Whatever this tower is, is karma. This is meant to happen. For some of you, um, this person may actually end up getting thrown in jail. Somebody is too obsessed here. Like someone really does not want to let you or another energy go. I'm mean, getting something about leave. So someone could be trying to stop this person from leaving. These two people could share a home together for some of you. But it's like whoever this Eight of Swords energy is does not want to let this masculine energy go or feminine. Take it as it resonates. The Emperor is just energy. Something shocking um, could be heard on the news for some of you. Give me an energy on justice. Libra energy on justice. Why is justice here? For cancer. What is the message? The queen of pentacles and the moon. For some of you, this person played an energy work. To try to get someone to commit to her. To be someone's spouse. To balance the scales in her favor. And I feel like right now, this person is going through a backfire. Like somebody's thoughts are all over the place. Someone is delusional here. Cancer Pisces on the moon. Somebody could be going to a facility or needs to. Give me an energy on the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Wands. Something was just um, a passion-based connection. Very intense connection. Give me an energy for the Seven of Cups, the Two of Wands. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. For some of you, these people would travel to see each other, but it was just to be intimate. Give me an energy on the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Yeah, I'm hearing sleepover, so they would stay the night at each other's home. Give me an energy on the Nine of Wands. The title card. Give me another energy. Whatever this Nine of Wands is, this person's a player. Like this person deals with multiple people i'm hearing um different area codes so this person gets around a lot give me an energy for the knight of wands why is the knight of wands here the seven of wands yeah so this person is definitely trying to stop this masculine from leaving from walking away or trying to block you Somebody could have also blocked communication. What I'm getting, what I'm picturing here is like whoever this feminine energy is, where she does have access to this masculine's phone, she would block the numbers of other people that this masculine is associating himself with romantically or who she feels is a threat. She will block those people numbers from his phone and he will wonder why he hasn't heard anything 
from certain energies is because they're blocked. This person has blocked their number. Give me an energy on the two of wands. For some of you, this person is also um, blocking people from either your social media or this other energy's social media. I'm telling you, anybody that she feels is a threat, she's going to block them. Give me an energy on the two of wands. This is giving me the energy of I have to have you. She doesn't want anyone to stand in the way. She's pretty much eliminating the competition or what she feels is competition. Give me an energy on the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here for cancer? What is the energy? Why is the two of wands here? The four of wands. Yeah, because this person wants a relationship. Give me another energy. And something does have to do with um someone being blocked from leaving their home. Whoever this um Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Wands energy is, she does not want you to go anywhere or does not want this other person to leave. Give me an energy on the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? The Five of Pentacles. So someone is losing their home. Someone has nowhere to stay. This is giving me like somebody being kicked out of their home and the other person moving, relocating. So this person doesn't have anywhere to go. And who she was staying with, he's moving. He's moving to an entirely different location. I feel like for some of you, this masculine is just trying to get away. It's trying to escape whoever this energy is. Give me a message for growth. But she's making it hard or he's making it very difficult. Give me an energy for growth. The six of wands. Give me another energy for growth. This is a type of person that likes people to chase him or her. Which opens this person up to connecting more with very obsessive energies. Tell me more about growth. Why is growth here for cancer? What is the message? The Four of Pentacles. This is the type of person, whoever this obsessive energy is, she doesn't even like for other people to look at this masculine or feminine. This person could be very jealous. She wants to hold on to this energy. She don't want anyone else to be attracted to him. She don't want him talking to anyone else but her. Give me an energy on the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? What is the message? Why is the Six of Wands here? What is the energy? The Ten of Swords. This person um, is watching you online Whoever this third party is and she doesn't like what she sees, she's watching you in secret. There's also something about your password, Cancer, or this other energy's password. Like somebody could be a hacker here. So just be mindful. Make sure you're changing your passwords regularly. Give me an energy for the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? What is the message? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? What's the energy? The Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this masculine is definitely pulling back. This person has been rejected. And she is devastated. 
For some of you, this energy um, is watching your home. Somebody is extremely obsessive. It's like this person does not want you to get away. She's still trying to hold on. She's trying to act like she's fine with the breakup. She's fine with things ending. I'm hearing divorce. So for some of you, you definitely could have been married to this person, but she's really not. This person does not want you to be single. Give me another energy on the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? What is the energy? <laughs> the higher effect. Yeah, like this marriage is over. Taurus energy. I'm hearing keys and locks. So somebody could have changed the locks on their home. If not, that's something you need to do. I'm also getting with this four of cups of the higher fan, like this person is realizing that this masculine does not want to commit to her. He doesn't want to marry her. And it's like she's watching this person move on with his life, get a lot of attention. And she has an issue with it. I'm hearing um, in vogue, hold on to your love. Yeah, this person's trying to hold on. She doesn't want to let go. And for some of you, this person is playing in different forms of divination. Trying to get you to come back. Give me an energy for the tower in the reverse. The world in the reverse. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio energy heavy on the Scorpio in this reading give me another message for the tower in the reverse why is the tower in the reverse here for cancer what is the energy why is the tower in the reverse here for cancer what is the message the king of cups yeah so I could definitely be speaking to a Scorpio masculine This person refuses to let go, like she does not want to close out this cycle. For some of you, this person like could have even threatened, like if you move on, she will attack the person you're with. Like this person doesn't mind getting into a fight, like this person doesn't mind getting violent, like this is somebody who has a temper. This person is upset. This person is going to sabotage whatever relationship that you're in. It's hard for this person to accept the truth. That you don't want to be with her or that this other energy doesn't want to be with her or him. So she watches constantly to try to gather information to see if you're giving to anyone else. Give me an energy for the world in the reverse. Why is the world in the reverse here for cancer? What is the message? Why is the world in the reverse here for cancer? What is the energy? Why is the world in the reverse here? You have the will of fortune. Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, energy. So karma. This is someone's karma. Whoever this third party is, is this masculine's karma. So for some of you with this king of swords and the reverse to the three of swords, this is somebody who could have lied to you, put you in a third party situation with whoever this feminine energy is. And now it's like they're stuck with this person. Like it's going to be hard to get rid of whoever this feminine or masculine is. But it's a part of their karma for putting you in a third party situation and for lying to you. And then I'm hearing I choose you. So for some of you, this person could have even chosen this person over you. This obsessive energy over you. So yeah, this is just karma. And this person has a lot to deal with. Give me an energy for obsession. Why is obsession here for cancer? What is the message? 
the five of cups i feel like this is um the masculine energy somebody regrets dealing with this person like they do like this person has to deal with a lot it's very top heavy for some of you too i feel like this masculine could be very emotional because whoever this other energy is like she just won't stop she keeps going and going like this person does not get tired she keeps going and going because she is obsessed very toxic low vibrational energy here but it's like this is a lesson for this masculine about making the right investments you know not leading with lust thinking clearer you know being forthright you know doing what's honorable and not trying to be a player, you know, not trying to manipulate people, lie to people, not wanting people to chase after you. Like, you know, this person is being made to grow up. Let's pull a final message. Spirit, tell me why is this important? Yeah, when I say this person regrets it, I could feel it like in my chest here. <laughs> Listen, when I say this person regret it, it's like, oh my goodness. Like this person regrets it heavily. Like this weighs heavily on whoever this masculine is. Spirit, tell me why is this important? The magician in the reverse. Yeah, for some of you, this person is doing um, energy ma manipulation. Um, this person is playing in spell work, Virgo, Gemini energy, this third party, this person wears a mask. Um, this is somebody who acts one way in front of certain people and another way in front of another group of people. You know, this is somebody um, who shapeshifts, like, you know, she could be whatever you want her to be when you need her to be it. Or when she feels, you know, she needs to be a certain way in order to get what she wants out of a situation, out of a person. Yeah, this person um, definitely does a lot of things in the dark that is unseen. And for some of you, it's actually energy work. Now, for others of you, this is just this person just being extremely manipulative, like you know, false, you know, coming off as if I'm hearing sweet and innocent. Um, and then also as if she's very um, grounded, um, stable mentally, emotionally, but she's anything but. I feel like by the time you really get to know who this person is, you're already in too deep. And this masculine is now realizing that. Somebody's realizing that they were manipulated by this third party. That this person wears a mask, this person is false, and however she presented herself initially, that is not who she is, not at all. For some of you, this person could be like very violent, very dangerous. Like this masculine has had a major reality check, or he is about to. So, Cancer, this is your reading. I hope it resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.